Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to my uh, presentation on the big stock plays for the rest of 2022, a generational opportunity to get in at the lows. And on a valuation basis, there are a lot of really great stocks uh, that are trading at decade valuation lows. <laughs> so um, there is a lot to talk about there. Timing is everything, but the time to strike is fast approaching. Um, take out your pen and paper to take notes or start typing into your smartphone. What I'm about to tell you will blow you away and change your life, for I am in the early retirement business, and that would be your early retirement. Uh, let's go flying uh, for a minute. Uh, why listen to John Thomas? Well, I have 53 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo and later the White House, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, uh, little time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot in Desert Storm, and no, this is not the plane I flew. Uh, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, 14 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry uh, who is still living and breathing. Take my half century of trading experience and add it to your own. Learn from my trading mistakes so you don't have to repeat them. And believe me, there have been plenty. Oh, and if you ever need a ride in a 100-year-old biplane, I'm your man. There's only a tiny number of us left who can actually fly these things. So uh, let's move on here. This is always tricky. Try and get to the next page. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's start with the 90,000 foot view. You missed the 2010s, here's your shot at the 2020s. It's all about the barbell strategy. Always own big safe stocks that are making gobs of money. That is a winning strategy. Been working uh, for me for about 50 years, piling into the right sectors to deliver the keys to your early retirement. This summer will bring the best entry point for stocks in a decade chance to buy the Cadillacs at Volkswagen prices. Once the excesses of easy money are squeezed out, it's back to the bull market and the roaring 20s. Listen to the guy uh, who is up 45% so far in 2022, and that would be me. To cash in, you must know which names to shoot for and when. And this is a picture I took flying a MiG-25 over Russia about 30 years ago. Uh, by the way, I was the first American ever to fly a MiG-29. Kind of makes me popular these days. 2022 is looking even better. Time to pay up for free money of the 2010s is here. Time to pay the piper. Most US companies are still making handsome profits. Inflation's about to roll over once the year-on-year -year comparisons become easy and the economy slows. Get inflation under 4% and it's off to the races for stocks again. COVID no longer a market factor. Uh, uh, after my four shots, I got COVID, so that had to be the end of it. Time to load the boat the stocks with stocks as imminent. Dow 240,000. Here we come. That's my decade target. And if I'm wrong, that's a low number. So the great short play of 2022. This is our trailing one year return, 66.63%. And you're wondering, how did this guy make all that money? And the answer is we had cautious longs for the first half of last year, uh, and then really aggressive shorts for the second half of this 12 months, which corresponds with January. Uh, Cause we knew the market was topping out, the bull market was ending. So we ran really small positions here, just made a couple of percent a month. And then it was really off to the races. We started running 10, 15% months after that, and of course, here we are at all time highs and uh, waiting for Jay Powell to make his move tomorrow and we'll go to all time highs yet again. So who is John Thomas? If you're gonna spend the next hour with me, it's best to find out who I am. My family origins are very humble. Growing up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California, that's me there missing my front teeth. 
lived the all-American childhood, playing Little League baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. By the way, this is a farm on Wilshire Boulevard where I heard the prices have appreciated lately. They're no longer growing vegetables on, on Wilshire Boulevard. Wasn't much to do in rural California in those days except hunting, so I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. Found the stock pages, bought IBM at $20, sold it at 30, suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers off the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe. By the age of 17, I'd visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. And uh, this was France in the 1960s, notice no cars. Very long time to uh, uh, get a ride in those days. And this is one of the first papers I uh, delivered covering, covering the uh, Kennedy assassination. Uh, at UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which lent me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of intelligence missions, where I learned to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the militaries of America's Asian allies. As the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine in London. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering uh, the Asian economy and the stock market. Ta-da! Uh, and after 10 years of government service, all I ended up was this box of medals, which I tried trot out once a year on Veterans Day. Uh, I'm told my distinguished flying cross is in the mail, by the way. Supposedly, I'm supposed to get one. Uh, as a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, and covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. Uh, I covered a lot of the old World War II Pacific Islands. Uh, there on a Saturday night uh, for some excitement, we dig up these old World War II bombs, set fire to them, and run like hell. Uh, certainly kept one occupied. Uh, I figured out very quickly, you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. So I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years, I started my own hedge fund. And that's me uh, losing the All Japan Karate Championships, uh, warning never enter a karate tournament with a broken wrist, which I did, ouch. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it has a really big impact on your lifestyle. You get to own the latest hot car, fly your own private plane around Europe, go marlin fishing in Mexico, and collect vintage Rolls Royces. I sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the diary of a mad hedge fund trader in 2008. Now I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts, but I now do it for my three mansions in San Francisco, this one, Lake Tahoe over here, and Zermatt, Switzerland, where I have a home at the foot of the Matterhorn right over here. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching him how to trade, and that includes you. If I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into 500,000, that is more job satisfaction than I could ever get anywhere. However, every silver lining has its cloud. Uh, in 2020, I had to pay 8.2 million in taxes on uh, 20 million in trading income, yikes. I'm just, thank goodness I can pay that amount of taxes to Uncle Sam and not have it make a dent in my lifestyle. In the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. If you see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. Uh, and this summer I'm gonna be flying a World War II Spitfire over the White Cliffs of Dover. And I'll get to the video on that as soon as it's available. Ultimate luxury, of course, is the gift to those who need it. 
Uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteered for grief counseling for widows and orphans, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers, handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. And this is my in-laws house, completely burned to the ground. Notice the SIF box where they were looking for a wedding ring, which they eventually found. That's because it was made out of platinum and platinum has a much higher melting point than gold. One of the things you learn trading commodities for 50 years. So method to my madness, the Roaring Twenties are here. They're just taking a vacation. Bonds are in free fall, but we are approaching the end of the greatest short play of all time with a 3.38% 10 year yield. We may hit 350 or 4% this year, and that will be it. Your short bond play is done. After that, you're gonna have to find better fish to fry like buying uh, technology stocks at generational lows. With rising earnings and falling prices, stocks get really cheap really fast. Uh, we've seen earnings multiples collapse. Uh, keep all your tech stocks as the outer year earnings are being wildly underestimated. Tech always comes back. That is the 60-year lesson of following financial markets. Rising interest rates have made the U.S. dollar the go-to currency with more to run. Commodities should keep running for the rest of the decade even after inflation peaks. Bitcoin is trashed at 21,000, an 18 month low. Bankruptcies are rising and individual cryptos are blowing up with losses of 100%. And if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in this picture, that's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang World War II fighter. I kind of like World War II fighters, you may have noticed. You don't know what that is. This is my friend, Geraldine. Um, with a 2000 horsepower engine, very impressive airplane to fly, as long as you know how to do it, otherwise it will kill you. So global economy, we're getting a COVID balance out of China, industrial production there collapsed by 2.9%, retail sales down a shocking 11%, but the end of the Shanghai shutdown could bring global economic recovery. Fed may overshoot on interest rates going too tight, may be necessary to break the back of inflation. They may raise by 75 basis points tomorrow and keep raising at 75 basis points a pop for the rest of the year. I mean, two more are in the bag for sure. We may get more than that. Consumer sentiment dives, Q1 GDP down one and a half percent. That's the first quarter of a recession, by the way. A recession is two back-to-back -back negative quarters. Consumer will keep driving the economy. Inflation in the US is now at a 40 year low at 8.6%. Uh, stocks are back from the dead. Only 18% of Americans will increase stock holdings this year, which is usually what you get at market bottoms is also usually a big mistake. Expect another big sell off, which you should buy. Worst case sell off is a PE multiple of 14. We're at about 17 now, but we can cover that ground in a week or two if things really get ugly. That would take us to an S&P 500 level of 3,500, down 1,300 points in six months, or down 27%. That sounds like buy territory to me. That's your sweet spot. Watch your screens. Expect the market to continue range trading once we hit a bottom for several months and possibly for the rest of the year. Uh, Starbucks exit Russia, uh, not costing it anything, along with 270 other companies that are closing their Russian operation. Wells Fargo takes a hit with another fine. Uh, David Tepper is adding to Microsoft and so am I, and he's also buying Amazon on dips. Look for a terrible first half, which basically is already in the, in the bag now, it's already happened. Uh, but then a great second half, and especially a fantastic last quarter, we could even hit new all-time highs in stocks by the end of the year. So here's the outlook. Um, let's see, uh, we uh, peaked out here at 480, could go down to this level here, major support level at uh, 350 in the spies. Uh, chop around here and then rally to at least 475 by the end of the year. 
uh, and this is going to be one of the greatest money making opportunities of the past decade right here. This is where you get a monster short covering rally. Get everybody in the world short down here and then turn them around and run them up to new highs. That's what's going to happen. So we, the best way to do this is with a barbell portfolio. That is 50% big tech. Uh, big tech is 2% of the US workforce, 27% of the market cap, and 38% of all US profits. Unbelievable. The other half is domestic recovery, including railroads, airlines, cruise lines, couriers, steel companies, banks, commodities, construction, credit card companies, hotels, casinos, and online ticket sales. Uh, this is what NASDAQ's gonna look at. We're looking for lower lows sometime in the next few weeks, a uh, chop around the bottom, and then a run to 14,000 by the end of the year, or run a 40% off, off the summer lows is what I'm looking for. Uh, Microsoft, uh, strong buy territory down here. If you can get it down to 260, that's a gift. By the way, you should be selling short the 210 puts like crazy down here. Uh, even if we get down to 210, just take delivery of the stock uh, and then run 100 points. That's how the big money is made. Uh, Apple, another winner here, could go down to maybe 120 or so at the bottom. Then after that, the next big move is to 200. Uh, Amazon, another big winner. Uh, and of course, they split their stock. It's kind of funny dealing with these small numbers for Amazon after a 21 split. But anyway, looking for a run down to maybe 100 and then a 60% gain to $160 a share. So by Amazon on dips. Uh, Al Alphabet, another one, you know, advertising is slowing down. All you have to do is watch your TV uh, and watch the same ads get repeated over and over again by the same six companies. You know, the ad business is terrible uh, and Amazon, uh, sorry, Alphabet has 92% of all search uh, advertising. So near monopoly, big moat, kind of company I love. Uh, we were short the beginning of the year, uh, selling every rally after that. From here on, we're looking to buy the big dips, and we see Amazon going to 3000 by the end of this year. Uh, Salesforce, customer relationship management is a big deal and growing like crazy. Uh, we already had a nice pop off the earnings announcement a couple of weeks ago. We're looking for $300 a share by the end of the year for Salesforce. Uh, second half of the barbell bits on a massive domestic global recovery uh, to begin by the end of 2022. Upside potential for recovery stocks is greater than it is for tech. Some of these stocks have not moved for five or 10 years. Focuses on economically sensitive issues, makes a great counterweight to high growth technology. We could spend all of the next two years rotating back and forth these two groups. Uh, aircraft, uh, Boeing, we've been shorting this for four years now. I started shorting this thing at 450, uh, right when they had the beginning of their regular problems back in 2018. And boy, has that worked, 450 down to 100. We're now uh, more inclined to buy the dips back down to 100. We think you get a quick pop down to 200 on a recovery story by Boeing on dips. Uh, JP Morgan, I think financials are going to be another one of the best sectors to be in. Uh, and JP Morgan is the quality value play in banking. We've been shorting it all year, but uh, looking to buy the next big dip here, uh, especially a dip down to $100 a share. Then we see an easy double to $200 a share. Uh, Visa, uh, great inflation play as uh, prices rise, so do credit card charges. Uh, so uh, looking to buy the next dip on Visa. We actually have a Visa call spread expiring on Friday at its max profit point. What were the strike prices? It was the 150, 160. So we're way, way in the money on that one. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Market. Union Pacific, any economic recovery you get, uh, you're going to need to move a lot of big stuff and you move a lot of stuff to China. Uh, in any recovery, this is a great play. We're getting a really cheap price 
Here it's almost down 100 from its highs. Look to buy UNP on dips. Uh, easy $100 there on the recovery. Uh, Federal Express, not only do you need to move big stuff, you have to move small stuff too. Looking for another big surge in uh, uh, small package deliveries uh, by the next dip. Also, they just increased their dividend by 50%. So that kind of makes uh, FedEx an interesting play. We're targeting 350 on the upside to, for FedEx. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, that's the one-stop barbell portfolio. That's because they own a ton of financials, a lot of domestic industrials, and they're the biggest outside shareholder of Apple. So uh, looking for a you know, little bit more weakness and then another $100 or 35% of upside by the end of the year. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett still has it. Uh, I'm going to follow him to the grave if I have to. Uh, this has been a fantastic money maker for me for years. So bonds, uh, this has been our core trade for the last two years. Uh, we have been short bonds while yields went from 33 basis points all the way up to 238. Uh, that took the TLT from 108, uh, sorry, from 180 down to 109. Everybody, it was their biggest possession who follow me. So this has been a great trade, but we're coming to the end. Rocketing inflation, of course, delivered our bond market collapse. So did 200 basis points worth of Fed rate rises, which are now priced in the market. 30-year fixed rate mortgages have doubled to 5.6%. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, Mr. Bond Market. It's been nice knowing you. Uh, and it's just been a straight line down with never any rallies of more than six, seven, or eight points. So targeting 100 on the downside, but that trade is basically done. Uh, and here's the um, see, TLT. Here's the yield chart. And again, I'm looking for a minimum of 350 on the yield. Could go up to 4%. Uh, but... Uh, it's basically game over now, it worked. Uh, foreign currencies, dollars taking a break from a very prolonged multi-year bull market, uh, close to 20 year highs now, Euro popped on dollar weakness, Shanghai shutdown boosted the Yuan. Uh, Long-term you wanna own the commodity currencies like the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar. Uh, they will go ballistic on rising oil and commodity prices. Long-term US dollars are still uh, poor due to our massive debts. Uh, could be the new 10-year trade to short the dollar, but not yet. Uh, stand aside for now, they're better fish to fry. Uh, here's your UUP, there's your 20-year high, backing off here. Eventually we peak out and then collapse, not yet. Uh, Aussie dollar, looking for one-to-one -one long-term, beginning a very strong recovery. That we think that keeps going. Uh, energy and commodities looking for new highs. Gasoline prices skyrocket, hitting $7 a gallon in California, $5 everywhere else. Uh, of course, I only know this by watching TV because I have a Tesla and I haven't bought gasoline in 12 years. Uh, average household spending is now 5,000 a year on gasoline. Total European ban on Russian oil imports is pushing energy prices up globally. Shortage of US refining capacity was caused by owners moving facilities to regulation-free Mexico. Uh, Transportation-related businesses are getting killed. Keep buying Tesla on dips. This is like the best case scenario ever for the EV industry. And of course, Tesla dominates there. Avoid all energy plays like the plague. It's the new buggy whip industry as the US decarbonizes. Uh, so here's oil. And I think what we're gonna do, the old high uh, several years ago, actually 20 years ago was at 150. Uh, so that's 14 years ago. I think we go to 150 again. I think we're going to new highs in oil. Then you're gonna have one of the greatest double tops of all times. We collapse back down to 10 especially if the war in the Ukraine ends. Even if the war doesn't end, Europe is now rushing to go full on alternatives as fast as possible. 
uh, what Putin's invasion of the Ukraine has done, it's made oil the world's least popular energy form. Uh, and people are trying to get rid of it as fast as they can. Uh, precious metals still asleep, uh, taking a break. Uh, it's more of a commodity play now than a risk hedge. Uh, recently, uh, rising interest rates don't bode well for gold because the opportunity cost is so high. It's a classic inflation play, uh, which rises before it falls. Silver is the better long-term play because there you have big demand from industry and uh, solar panel makers. So gold, we're looking for new lows. After that, we want to buy it and uh, see it going to 3,000 or up 50% by 2023. Barrick Gold, our world's largest gold miner, we think could hit 50. And the Silver Trust, we think could hit $50 an ounce for silver up from the current 20. So don't play with matches. You can probably do okay buying all the stocks I just mentioned and forgetting about them. However, the reality is that conditions for these companies change every day. Uh, they are all viciously competing, trying to put each other out to business. If you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals, you could easily get wiped out. And ooh, look at this, Tesla, $27 up on the day, okay. Uh, if you don't, uh, today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need somebody like me to guide you through the thicket with an out of the blue blow up. I gained financial independence for life and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Go from complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. And here I'm struggling to smile because I'm on the coast of Africa sending out a trade alert and it's 120 degrees. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. They like the correct training uh, and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. This is the last broker I ever had. His name was Pinocchio, found him in Northern Italy. Notice the entire shop is full of Pinocchios. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. Easy solution to that problem is to get educated. Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why do dead people do so well? They never sell. At least that worked until this year. It would have been kind of handy to sell in January when I did, when the Dow was at 38,000. You need a real pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. There are a few great sectors and a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great ones, but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50 year veteran steer you to safe waters. Let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. Uh, this is the secret to our success, the Mad Hedge Profit Predictor. It's my market timing index, uh, an artificial driven algorithm that uh, analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum driven indicators all day long. It took a team of mathematicians a thousand hours of calculations to create this market timing index and it was worth every second. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100 man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself a thousand times a day. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. I'm not the only one using algorithms. I was walking on the Miami waterfront a couple of years ago and found this mega yacht and look what it's called, algorithm. Obviously it's working for more people than just me. Some 80 to 90% of all current trading is now algorithm driven. 
Uh, this is a typical uh, three-year period for our algorithm. And you can see we get lots of buys at market bottoms, lots of sells at market tops, buy, sell, buy, sell. It's like having a printing press for $100 bills. Uh, this is our an average annualized return for the last uh, 14 years, and that is 44.56% per year. That is 2.56 times the S&P 500. And notice while the market's been going down all year, we've been going up to new all-time highs all year. Uh, Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading uh, income. After making a 3.4 million with my trade alerts, he still farms, but he's now growing grapes for uh, California's Napa Valley for the high-end wineries, and I'm having lunch with him on Friday. Uh, Philip was tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry in Texas. After following my trade alerts and doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a generous living as a full-time trader. Uh, Richard made millions religiously following my trade alerts. He now spends his retirement restoring vintage aircraft and flying them over the California coast. And that was one of them I was flying earlier. Uh, Greg turned 100,000 into 1.5 million solely on my trade alerts. He bought a new home in Orange County, California with a Tesla solar panels, Tesla power walls and a Tesla Model 3 and still had enough money left over to send three kids to college. So what do we do about all this? Well, stocks, you wanna buy the summer sell-off, bonds, you wanna sell rallies, commodities buy dips, energy stand aside, currencies sell US dollar rallies, precious metals buy dips. If you are not up 66.63% the past 12 months as I was, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring, mentoring service. 66.63% trailing one year return. It's basically gone up almost every day for the last year and really for the last several years. 44.56% average annualized return for 14 years. You get those kind of numbers, you get to do things that other people don't get to do, like take the owner suite on the Queen Mary from New York to England. Once you get to England, you can take the Orient Express uh, to Venice, Italy. Uh, warning, uh, every dinner is black tie, so be sure and bring two tuxes for this part of the trip. And when you get to Venice, you can go island hopping on your own private helicopter. Saves a lot of time. Uh, here's the really long-term view for the markets and where the big money will be made. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. That will create an economic boom that will last another decade, starting in 2021 or two. Uh, this is what happened the last time we had such a demographic tailwind. The Dow went up 20 times in 18 years, starting in 1982 and going all the way to the year 2000. Uh, what happens if you get the same demographic tailwind? You get the same outcome. Again, 20 times from the 20, 2009 bottom in 18 years takes us to 120,000 uh, by 2027. And if you think I'm smoking California's most popular product, think again. We've already covered two thirds of the ground. We're already uh, here at 30,000 on the way to 120,000. So <clears throat> again, the future for the stock market looks especially good, except this time it's different. Technology is hyper accelerating on all fronts simultaneously and the pandemic greatly sped up the rate of change. The development of a functional quantum computers means that computational ability is about to increase a trillion fold at no cost. The world's major computational challenges will shortly be solved, such as weather forecasting and cancer cures. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Live another decade and you'll have a shot at living 
to 150 years old. Needless to say, barbell stocks dominate in this scenario will account for the bulk of stock market gains in our lifetimes. The 90s had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of new technology drivers. So who will show you how to play the next uh, 90,000 Dow points? Sit with me, John Thomas, the mad hedge fund trader and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 66.63% in a year. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts and you will rake the profits in. Uh, let a Marine Corps combat pilot steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. Uh, this is a typical month with our market timing index. Uh, we did 10 out of 11 trades made money. You can see we bought the S&P 500, made 16%, uh, sold short US treasuries, bought the Russell 2000, bought Amazon, bought Apple, uh, bought Io Biogen, and then stop out. We stop out of losers very quickly. It's easier to dig yourself out of a small hole than a big one. And it's also easier to stop out when you know that 90% of the time the next trade is a winner. Uh, so it's just a matter of time for barbell stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up going into the end of, sorry, 2022. I got my year wrong. Get ready to start uh, reeling in uh, those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide. Here's how our, our, our market timing index works. Our algorithm predicted an upside breakout for Tesla. So what did we do? We, uh, and this is uh, pre-split Tesla, by the way. Um, we sent out a trade alert and it said buy Tesla at 202 or best opening trade. And in this particular trade, a $10,000 position uh, required you to buy 49 shares. What happened next? Um, Tesla went up to 328 in 20 trading days, an increase of 63%. Uh, so what did we do? We sat on another trade alert. It said, take profits, sell Tesla at 349 or best, closing trade. This particular trade, a $10,000 investment, brought a profit of $7,203 in only 20 days. What happened after that? Well, we kept following Tesla. We kept buying every dip, bought it here, here, and here. And in fact, we rode it all the way up to 1,200, making a fortune all the way. So <clears throat> these are the uh, Mad Hedge 10 baggers of uh, the last couple of years. Uh, we bought Zoom, went up 10 times on our recommendation. Uh, we bought LAM Research, went up 10.6 times, the semiconductor manufacturing equipment company. We bought NVIDIA, leading graphics card company, uh, and it went up 16 times. And by the way, NVIDIA is screaming buy territory right now. Uh, Square went up 25 times. Uh, Moderna, we bought pre-pandemic, that went up 40 times. Uh, Tesla, uh, we bought at $3, split adjusted, and eventually went up 400 times. Uh, so uh, with my Mad Hedge Global Trading Dispatch service, you get instant trade alerts and out of market sweet spots, about 200 a year, and all the reasons to execute them. Live bi-weekly strategy webinars with an interactive Q&A, special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world, more educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime and access to a 14 year database on investment ideas, searchable by names and ticker symbols. Now I'll even give you the number of a surfing camp in North Africa, warning it's a lot harder than it looks. This is the one-stop shop. We're all you need for every level. It's for individuals who want to understand what is happening with their retirement funds, 
It's for people who want to learn how to trade for a living, uh, get the financial education of a lifetime. It's for smaller institutions and financial advisors who can't afford an in-house research department. Get in while the melt-up is on. Uh, with my service, you get uh, my global market comments, the global trading dispatch. Uh, this is in your inbox every morning before the opening, so you know what to do. Uh, you also get my Mad Hedge hot tips, the five most important things that happened today and what to do about them. Uh, this is what my service is not going to cost you. It's not going to cost you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients and they're happy to pay because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge you $10,000. That's what I charge my concierge customers who get my personal cell phone number. And I'm not gonna charge you $3,000. That's the full price of what I'm offering you on my website. This is the real deal. Uh, creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry running it cost me millions uh, more. Uh, six months for just $997, that's a 66% discount. Uh, this is a limited time offer. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time. So it's first come, first serve. I can't, to wait, uh, can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Uh, click on the chat box on the right, uh, and there should be a link. Uh, oh, oh, and I found my missing chat box. It's on my other screen. Let me drag it over here so I can see the questions. There they are. Uh, yeah, put the, uh, okay, go ahead and put the link in the chat box on the right. Uh, click on that. That'll take you to a dedicated page, uh, only available through this webinar. Uh, and that'll take you to our special offer. Uh, okay, well, now we have all these questions. Uh, so let me make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Just click on the chat box on the right. Six months for just $997. Buy now and you will instantly receive a trade alert with an extremely high probability of success that you can execute immediately, make some of the most serious money in your life. And the market is still open, so you can execute this trade alert right now uh and boy i would love if i weren't uh doing this trailer i'd be doing this for myself right now uh it's such a, a great trading idea so uh anyway uh you will find this in your inbox within seconds of you completing our order and i'll to give you a tease this is the chart uh i've taken the prices out so i don't completely give it away uh and i also won't tell you whether this is a buy or a sell uh, so anyway, uh, let's go do some more flying. Oops, come on airplane, go. Sometimes these old planes don't want to start. Ah, there it goes again. It's very tough to get the airplane and the computer work at the same time. So when you make millions of dollars for your clients, you get a lot of pretty interesting invitations. $5,000 cases of wine, lunches on super yachts, free tickets to the Olympics and dates with movie stars. And I promised not to tell who. So it was in that spirit that I made my way down to the famed beachside community of Malibu to meet longtime Mad Hitch follower, Richard Zeiler. Richard is a man after my own heart, plowing his millions in trading profits into a ground up restoration of a 1929 Travel Air D4D biplane. This particular plane is quite famous because it was featured in a 1930 war movie called Hell's Angels, which won one of the first Academy Awards. However, Richard had to buy 20 other travel airs to get the parts he needed to return this one plane to flying condition. The modernized plane has a 300 horsepower engine, carries 62 gallons of fuel, and can fly 550 miles in five hours, which is longer than your bladder range. Since I'm one of the few living KOL qualified pilots left in America, Richard was happy to let me have the plane for an afternoon where me and my kids buzz the surfers on the California coast. Let me make millions of dollars for you as well as I have done for thousands of other followers over the last 14 years. I look forward to working with all of you. OK, 
Okay, so here's the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $997. Uh, just click on the chat box on the right and I'm gonna start going through these questions. Uh, what is the profit predictor number currently? And the answer is, it was at 16 this morning before I started uh, this summit. And I would imagine it's maybe gone up a point uh, since then. Um, because uh, we are starting to rally off the bottom of the market. Uh, let's see. No, Dow is still down 220, but we're getting big rallies in tech. Apple is up, Tesla is up. So it's hard to say. My guess is it'd be up a point. Um, and uh, oh, and I see the orders have already started to come in. Let me take a look and see who this is from. Uh, and we just got an order from uh, Mark in uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Uh, Mark, thank you very much. Please check your inbox, get your trade alert and get it into the market. Uh, Cause we could get a big rally in the market tomorrow, uh, recovering off a huge uh, over oversold condition. All we need is for Jay Powell to show us uh his hand and you could easily get a thousand point rally okay it looks like we've had a bunch more orders come in uh okay let's see uh let me read and see who this is da, 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 da. and we've just had an order come in from jane uh in ontario canada um city of Amprior. I don't know where that is. I usually know Ontario addresses fairly where. Anyway, Jane, please check your uh, you know, inbox right now. Get that trade in because you could easily pick up a bunch of points tomorrow morning and make some serious money and cover the entire cost of your service for a whole year just on your first trade alert. That's what these trade alerts are intended to do is to get you my service for free by having you earn the money on day one. And that's by the way, what happens about 90% of the time. Okay, we've just had a slew of orders come in here. I'll just take a look at the names quickly. Uh, we've had Rodney from Sydney, Australia. Thank you very much, Rodney. Uh, look forward to working with you. Uh, we have another one that's just come in here. Gary from St. Michael's, Minnesota. Gary, uh, great to be in touch with you. Check your inbox. Get that trade alert into the market now. Uh, okay, we have Adam from Durham, South Carolina. Uh, Adam, uh, thank you very much for joining us. And I can see these are coming in faster than I can read. Um, Karen from Cody, Wyoming has just bought the service. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, we have Jeff from Plattsburgh, New York. Uh, let's look at these other ones here. Let's see, we got that one. We got that one. Um, do, do, do. We have that one. Uh, okay, we have Judy from Memphis, Tennessee. Judy, get your trade alert into the market as fast as you can. Market's open for two more hours and we're still at a serious entry point for this trade alert. All you have to do is look at the charts and see what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, and let's go for some questions now. Let some more orders come in. Uh, let's see. But uh, what if China invades Taiwan? Answer never happened. I've been listening to people predict that China would invade Taiwan for 50 years, and this is why it'll never happen. Uh, if China invades Taiwan, it would lead to a complete cessation of all international trade with China. If that happens, China won't be able to feed itself. China has to be able to export to the US and Europe to earn the money to buy its own food and energy, which they lack domestically. Russia can operate independently basically forever because that economy developed from the 19th century independent from the rest of the world. Not true with China. You cannot feed uh, 1.4 billion people with promises so that means they can make all the noise they want. They can fly 50 airplanes at a time up to the border and turn around, but they will never invade. By the way, you need ships to invade too, which they don't have. They have container ships, but they don't have uh, landing craft. 
or the type of you know ships you need to invade another country. Uh, I only get that question about once a week, every week, every year. So I'm I'm ready with the answer. Uh, John, are you trading stocks, options, or futures? The answer is uh, we trade uh, stocks and options and ETFs, and people use our market timing to uh, govern a lot of their futures trading. Uh, and about a quarter of our followers only do the futures. Uh, okay, d d d d lots of advice on how to find my, my uh, chat box. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, more questions here. What happens after the carnage in Bitcoin? Um, and the answer is, they'll come up with something else. They always do. We had portfolio insurance in the 80s. Uh, we had um, dot-com stocks with eyeballs in the 90s. I mean, Wall Street is an endless invention machine, which will always come up with new ideas for parting you with your money. Uh, there's only a few people like me and some of my friends who actually can show you how to make money in the market on a reliable basis and hope you buy our service uh, and become part of the club. Okay, let me see how we're doing on time. I got five more minutes. Okay, another order came in. Let's see, and this is from um, Michael from Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts. I think that's Massachusetts. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you very much, Michael. Check your inbox and get that trade alert executed in the market as fast as you your fingers will allow you. Okay, we got another one here. Tracy from Grand Junction, Colorado. Thank you very much, Tracy. Uh, uh, look forward to working with you. And uh, go ahead and put your questions in. By the way, the profit predictor at 16, that means it's an extreme buy reading on our market timing index. Uh, okay. Um, what else have we got going here? A few more subscribers. Seth from New York City. Thank you very much, Seth. Uh, welcome to the club. Smartest decision you ever made. And the same for Ian in Cambridge, England. Uh, good job, Ian. Check your inbox. Uh, and if it's not in your inbox, check your spam box. If you're a brand new customer, uh, sometimes that's where the uh, trade alerts go if you're not on our system. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got going here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me give away a prize and I'll see if some more orders come through. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me get my prize sheet, prizes. Uh, okay. Um, uh, next winner is Larry Brooks. Uh, gets a one-year subscription to the Mad Hitch Technology Letter, $2,500 value. Uh, and Larry, we have your shaw.ca uh email address i guess that's a canadian email address uh congratulations uh you just got the deal of the century and we'll be getting you those uh trade alerts immediately uh okay and da, 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 da. let me see if i can find uh, any more questions let's see Uh, okay, a few more subscribers came in. Uh, Judy, Memphis, Tennessee. Well done, Judy. I will be talking to you shortly. And there's another one here. Uh, yeah, we're getting quite a few of these. Actually, we're going to be at our 25 limit in just a few minutes. So if you're sitting on the fence, hemming and hawing, get your order in because uh, the store shuts off when we hit. 24. And uh, this is an order from Olga from San Francisco, California. 
just across the bay. So Olga, thank you very much. Check your inbox, get that trade alert done uh, so you can cover the cost of your subscription. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the market. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm having a big impact on the market with our trade alerts as usual. Um, okay, just a couple more orders. Here's another one that just came in. Wilson from Enterprise, Mississippi. Wilson, thank you very much. Welcome to the club. 